Cooper Tyres teamed up with Four Drive Action to develop a test to show you once and for all how choosing the right construction and adjusting your tyre pressures is a must if you want to have the best chance of survival for your four-wheel drive tyres out in the bush. Ever wondered why different pressures are recommended for different types of terrain? Or what is the level of punch resistance in different carcass constructions? Watch how we conducted the test to show you how to choose the best four-wheel drive tyre for you and why adjusting your pressures when driving off-road can give your tyres more punch resistance. We conducted testing to assess the puncture resistance and construction strength at different pressures over three different carcass constructions. For testing consistency, we used this steel spike, which is worse than anything you would encounter off-road. The tyres we lined up for this test are the Dunlop Grand Trek AT22, an original equipment passenger constructed tyre commonly found on some of Australia's biggest selling four-wheel drives today. The Cooper AT3, an all-terrain with a traditional light truck construction. The Cooper ST Max, a light truck all-terrain featuring a proven Armatex 3 carcass construction. Each tyre is inflated to a specific pressure and driven forward and backward over the spike until a puncture occurs. We started at 38 psi. The OE tyre took only two passes to puncture. The AT3 light truck construction took three passes. When we ran the ST Max with Armatec over the spike, it took five passes. We then dropped 10 psi out of each tyre and tried again. The OE tyre this time still only took two passes to penetrate the carcass. The AT3 easily doubles the previous tyre at five passes. The ST Max with Armatec 3 increased to 12 passes. Dropping down to 20 psi, the OE tyre remained at two passes, the AT3 increased to seven passes, and the ST Max took 17 passes. We then reduced the pressures another six pound down to 14 psi, and found the OE tyre increased to four passes, the AT3 came back to six passes, and the ST Max increased again to 24 passes. The light truck construction of the AT3 and the Armatec construction of the ST Max has again been proven to have much better punch resistance and is a huge improvement over the original equipment tyre.